Good morning. My name is Todd Wergens. I am a technical analyst at Computer Aided Technologies. I'm going to show you a short video, a little bit of a tip, um, something that I run across once in a while and people don't really know it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and show it, um, especially in a design environment, something you don't typically know where you're going to place something. Um, there's something called a spin box increments. So it is a system option. And by default, you get all the SOLIDWORKS stuff out of the box. So 100 thou, 10 mil, all that kind of stuff. And I'm in a metric part, but I'm just going to go ahead and start a sketch and grab a circle and kind of start putting it where I think it might want to be. So we'll say 30 for that. And what we'll do here is we'll just kind of line it up horizontally. Now, the position of it is what we're really looking to do. Um, and I'll go ahead and throw in a dimension here. <clears throat> so that's fine. I can throw it in. I can type till my heart's content. Um, but what if I just want to kind of sneak up on it, if you will? Well, the default instances is 10 millimeters every time I either click my thumb wheel here or I click on the up or down arrows. A lot of times I just kind of want to get somewhere in between and, and not really sure of exactly where things are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reset the spin increment. Now this is a little box here and you can see I have a little bit of history. Um, I can make this 100. I can make it 1. And whatever I then choose, this gives me a little sneaking power. So and it affects here as well now i can set that as a default but a lot of times i just kind of keep it as a drop down um there's a little checkbox for the default and that directly affects the system options um i noticed that in the design environment we're always looking at trying to sneak up on things and being close to nominal as possible but it's not always the case so we can say okay there and go ahead and do whatever we want as far as an end condition and th there you go so if you're trying to sneak up on something that's a quick way to engage the spin box increments uh, i hope this helps um, again my name is todd wergens computer-aided technologies have a great day thanks